We're in the stars again. I know you never get old. I, you you never get old, Matthew. How does that make you feel? Am I like Benjamin Button? Is it that the person who got younger? I think so. Have you ever watched that movie? It's Brad Pitt, no. isn't it? I don't know. I don't watch movies. That movie's got to be such a guilty pleasure because you're like, you know, a lot of people like, you know, Brad Pitt now because he's obviously pretty hot. But then, like, you know, when he gets a bit younger and maybe gets a bit saltier. And then when he reaches a kid, you feel guilty because you've been sitting in the cinema with a boner for like the last two hours. <laughs> and now you're looking at this, like, young Brad Pitt. And you're like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have this. I shouldn't even have the hole over. <laughs> what game is this, Carl? <laughs> this is uh, Dead Star. Dead. Dead. Yes, it is Dead Star. I was gonna say what? Dead Orbit, but that's a Destiny yeah. faction. What is this? I don't understand. This looks like that uh, Agario thing where you're just like flying around killing things. So, right, you know, you know these sort of like um, isometric space games that come out a dime a dozen on Steam, don't they? There's like four new ones every day and they're all bad. Uh, the most, Unity store must be full of assets that support this kind of thing or something. Um, I'm being dismissive, but there's a lot of these games on Steam. I don't know if you've seen them. Hmm. Uh, but this is, uh, it, I was going to say it's a little bit different, but I don't play a lot of them. But this came out on PSN, yeah, it's part of the PS Plus this month. So I checked it out just for that reason alone. And it's got some real neat art, um, real neat 2D art and stuff on like the character portraits and things. And it's actually pretty good. It's got MOBA elements. It's a, a multiplayer game with a few different game modes, so it's not totally moba -ish. It's not like one map or you're dead. Um, but it's pretty cool, it's like this sort of... Uh, zone control thing like there's these different zones on the map each one has a base you can upgrade your base by bringing mi minerals back that's what we've just been doing and you see the map in the bottom left hand corner with the hexes oh yeah there's a base in each one of those hexes basically and so it's red versus blue and you've got to get to your enemy's base which is the one on the you know, on the f furthest side so you have to work your way to them basically it's really cool really cool different lots of different spaceship classes a lot of different art it's uh, I actually played like an hour and a half of this, which is odd, you know. I play a lot of these games, some of them we do videos of. A lot of them I just put away, put down immediately. But this is actually pretty good, but now playing is a little shotgun-y kind of thing. It's kind of like a little tough ship, a bit slower, but a bit more powerful. Um, and you level each one up. Uh, I think it's I think it's team-based base upgrades, but individual experience maybe but I think you stay within the level range or something so you're never super behind if you enjoy a game in progress mm. and it's it's really good it's good like some of them have like loads of players and some of the ships get quite big so I guess we'll see a bit of that like you see that frigate there is quite huge and it gets kind of insane it's a fun game it's on it's on Steam as well but this is on the PS4 oh this is P oh yeah I see the little PS4 symbols in the bottom yeah it's an odd one it's not something I would have checked out, but the art just stole my heart. Really nice 2D art. You saw a bit of it then when I got shot, you know, on that character portrait on the left. Yeah. Uh, you'll certainly see it a lot more. It's, it's really cool. Really striking art. It's not in the game, obviously, um, but <laughs> cool nonetheless. It's got a weird feel to it where uh, the ships don't all control in the same way. The smaller ones are obviously more nimble. Um, and they control sort of like, it controls like how it looks like with the thumbstick, but you get into the bigger ones and they do become like a lot of maneuvering. I don't think you take damage when you hit debris and stuff, but like I'm always fearing you will do because like some debris will explode into like fire and that's fucked up. That green cloud will heal you. Right. And um, it's a really neat thing. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if there's a community around this, but like uh, between the mobile elements and the part where it's free, you can almost see. Uh, see something coming out of this. I certainly had no problem getting on a game, but this was only a couple of days after it released. So who can say? I was going to say, was this a free PS Plus game? Yeah. Um, it's kind of nice, you know, between this and Rocket League, which obviously just came to the Xbox. It's nice, I guess this is the only one I've really played this week, but like, zomb you know the Ubisoft zombie game? Yeah. Uh, for the Wii U, Zombie U, and then they rebranded it just Zombie. <laughs> Yeah. and released it like uh, last year. That's another free one this month. So it's kind of nice that you're getting like, you're getting these old shit things and then also like this really cool new game, which I guess is nice. I haven't been keeping up with uh, Games for Gold, but... Oh, Games for Gold, uh, I think it's just shit for the Xbox One, but on the 360 you can now get Dead Space on backwards compatibility. Yeah, so that's a that's good That's cool. One. I never played that, so I'm looking forward to playing that at some point. It's, uh... It's fun. It's not an action game, though. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, it, that's the thing, Dead Space, it degenerated quickly for me. But by the time they get to Dead Space 3, it's like, it's more, sh more co-op shooter than it is a horror game. Dead Space 1's really good though. Yeah, I, I remember you explaining the end of Dead Space 3 to me. I think it was Dead Space 3. Yeah. We probably shouldn't spoil it here, but yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a thing. And now that team's working on fucking Battlefield Hardline, so great. No wonder it was so bad. Ah, Hardline's good. Hardline was bad. Actually, I think the dead, the visceral team that made Dead Space 1 and 2 was not the team that made 3. I think the team that made... I don't know. Another visceral team's also working on that Star Wars game, aren't they? So who knows? What Star Wars game? Uh, the Star Wars action-adventure thing with the creator of... Um, Sorry, with the creative director of uh, the Uncharted series, Amy Hennig. I've never heard of this. This is, it's been in development for a while. It's, you know when that Jade Raymond, the Ubisoft lady, you know, you know when Ubisoft like to get out and talk about diversity, they track out their one uh, female developer lead. Yeah. They did it for years and then she moved on to EA. She's working on some team called Motive who are helping with this secret Star Wars project that the woman who the public facing woman who made Uncharted so good is also working on it's a, it's a weird thing but it's visceral that's doing it mm. so hopefully that's like the Dead Space team as opposed to the Dead Space 3 team but who knows but yeah de Dead Dead Star I keep wanting to say Dead Orbit and it's totally not Dead Orbit what, what's this like red orb you keep firing out it's fucking goddamn landmine is it oh okay yeah, and blasts apart that asteroid. Yeah, they have some green things. It's really cool, this game. Uh, we haven't done a great job of describing it, but it is a... It's a neat game. It seems interesting. It definitely seems like... Uh, it's, it has, like, MOBA elements, you're right. Like, it's really the leveling uh, more than anything. But, I, I, you know, the way how the mineral, the minerals and the base stuff is such that you never... Me dying is not, I don't I never got the feeling that I was like, you know, losing the game for my team or whatever. It was like, no, I can still do things even if I'm not winning every fight I'm in. And some of the ship upgrades, like the so there's three races, which obviously have their own art and stuff, but they also have their own ship classes with like really different abilities. So I got onto this smaller ship, which could like teleport short distances and also had like a fucking energy razor blade that came out the side of it. So it was like you would just teleport in between uh bigger enemy ships, hit the razor blade, fucking do a lot of damage to them and then teleport out and it's really cool it's cool yeah uh, there's some of the different ships really neat designs but obviously you can't see them from the air uh, particularly yeah. well i don't think there's a zoom but yeah different upgrade paths you can augment them um i think you might be able to switch out what your abilities do as well but uh it's cool there's a, there's a lot of progression there and i don't think there's any microtransactions that i've seen which is nice yeah that's always good yeah, it's a cool game. It's an, it's it's nice because I wasn't expecting it at all. Yeah. It surprised me pleasantly. So yeah, that's Dead Star. Uh, we've got another Mobrish game on the sh on the cards. Maybe we'll get to that soon. Oh boy, it's GameJobs.com.